Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, rather rare find, a um, J registration, so the 1991 or 92, um, Land Rover Defender 90, 200 TDI, genuine station wagon. Um, rare in that it's had one owner since 1992, who we've just uh, bought it directly off of, and it's um, almost completely original. Um, obviously finished in white with uh, grey uh, cloth trim, six-seater spec, and it is a genuine station wagon. Um, fitted with the, the proper sort of station wagon five-spoke Ross-style style wheels. Um, it's got side steps, it's got the factory steering guard on it, um, front ball bar with extra lights. I don't know if the extra lights are wired in, I would imagine they are, because it looks like a factory fit to me, yeah, or a dealer fit, yes. Well, they're wired in, whether they work or not, I don't know. Um, it's got the factory sunroof. <coughs> Inside, as I say, it's got the proper um, station wagon uh, seats, um, centre cubby box, it's got a, a stereo radio cassette, that's not Land Rover, it's out of a Ford, that one. Um, <coughs> rear sliding windows, it's also got rear lamp guards, rear step and tow pack with um, dual electrics on it. It's also got rear seat belts in the back on the... Um, on the rear bench seats. Right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Mainly good bits on this one, in fairness. To say it's very, very original. Um, the paintwork is 90% original. The only areas that have been touched in, there's some areas on the roof where um, there's some paint loss that's been touched in, and there's still some paint loss here and there on the roof. I um, don't know why they always do that, but they do. Uh, so there's a few areas on the roof that have been uh, been repainted, and just a couple of bits around the um, the tub top trim on both sides has been. Uh, touched in obviously to stop it from rusting but apart from that it all seems to be uh, as it left the factory it's never been abused or off-roaded or anything like that the uh, chap we bought it from as I say has had it since 1992 very mature owner and has um, looked after it all around the front end here it's about as good as you'll find really tiny stone chip just there but otherwise uh, absolutely spot on um, the front bumper and and the ball bar are delaminating a bit and going a bit rusty up the sides but uh, what you expect after the after the 19 20 years or so and it's a 1991 model i think this one so it's 20 years old um no dents whatsoever in the wings um, front wings are fantastic both sides they're really good indeed in fact down the sides it's one of the straightest land rovers i've ever seen slightly crinkled uh, modesty cover in the uh, uh the near side rear modesty cover is a bit crinkled i think someone's tried to jack it up on there or something um what have we got up here on the both sides of the of the scuttle um, are really really good probably because the um the last owner has actually put mastic around all the joints which um looks a little unsightly it's fair to say but uh, has kept the um kept the water out from getting behind the bulkhead and rotting it the same up there some mastic up there but all around um say the uh, the hinge joint and stuff here where water normally gets in he's done it on both sides actually as i say it looks slightly unsightly you probably could peel it off if you really wanted to but um, yeah it will come off but at least it keeps the um keeps the water out a post is fantastic i get once again um under the screen there scuttle and everything is spot on near side door there is some of the usual e electrolytic reaction up here on the uh, top of the wing uh, top of the door here and as usual there's a line of electrolytic reaction on the base of the door we'll come back to the door itself in a minute in here uh, all in pretty good shape the seats are nice in the front the cubby box is a bit worn on the sides here and the uh, the plastic and rubber trim here around the, um, the transmission tunnel is a bit uh, worn and brittle and crinkly and a big bit missing out of it there but um, otherwise pretty good actually headlining's not too bad at all for one of these um, it's got all the right trim in here that's all good near side door frame is past its best shall we say on the bottom edge it's a bit holy along there especially at the front here but in fairness there's absolutely minimal movement in the in the door and the hinges and it still shuts nicely but fair to say the the frame on the base of the near side door isn't perfect um near side rear wing is all good as i say there's a couple of touched in bits just there and there on the um on the top of the tub top trim um, and as i say there's um a section of white that's been uh, been repainted there although there is still some paint loss on the top here above the alpine window and that bit that corner bit's been uh, been redone as well as uh, so i don't know why they tend to lose the paint on the roofs at this sort of age but they tend to um around the tower gate pretty good as well um a little bit of touching in just there and there on the uh, um on the tub top trim again and the same on the offside rear corner just up there but otherwise um all looks 
crossmember hasn't been plated or anything. A little bit of paint just flaking off here, but I don't think it's any more than that. Um, in the back here, as I say, it's got the twin, uh, the twin benches with seat belts and stuff on there, and it's all got the proper station wagon trim inside and everything. Tailgate. Oh, the, the wiper motor's been uh, been disconnected and taken off of the uh, the tailgate, but uh, the tailgate itself on the bottom here actually feels pretty solid on the bottom of the frame. It's pretty good. Um, offside again looks really solid and correct and uh, and straight. There's just not a parking dink or dent in it or anything. It's never been uh, abused, as I say. Uh, offside wing is all very good. Again. Couple of touched in areas just where the barrel size just been not barrel size the, um, the tub top trim has been repainted there and a couple on the roof up there along there and in fact down there the whole side of the roof has, has, uh, has been repainted at some point um, and the paint match isn't perfect it's fair to say it's a bit of a brighter white but uh, it's only the roof um, offside door same as the near side one really electrolytic reaction up here and a line of electrolytic reaction down the base of the door there We'll come back to the inside of the door in a minute. Modesty cover's good. Scuttle corner on this side, exactly the same as the other side. It's been masticed in to stop the uh, water getting behind it, which has made it survive well. But as I say, you know, it looks a little unsightly, should we say. But uh, could have perhaps done a better job of that. But uh, did it some years ago, by all accounts. Offside front wing, fantastic. That's all good. Offside door, good. Um, offside door's a lot better, actually. A little bit of surface rusting here and there. But that's... Um, that's got years of life left in that yet, in that frame. That's pretty good. Tiny hole in the front of the frame, actually, just there. But uh, again, a little bit of movement in the driver's door, but um, no more than that, just in the, uh, in the bottom hinge, I think. Um, driver's seat's all nice, not worn or anything. Uh, and it's all good. Oh, one point, the, uh, the odometer stopped when it turned over 100,000 miles. That was about uh, six or seven years ago, according to the history. Um, the speedo works and the trip meter still works, but there's just not enough power in it to turn it over 100,000. We think it's done somewhere around about 130,000, all told, from the previous owner, but um, that's about a lot. That's it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co. Dot uk for any further info we take part exchanges we take visa and mastercard debit cards and credit cards with a two percent surcharge for credit cards and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world one other point the rear mud flaps have been both been trimmed off um obviously uh, they get a bit brittle over the years and they've just been trimmed off at the side so it's got vestigial mud flaps on the back no more than that end